art of fighting without fighting? Show me some of it. Hi there, everybody. Michael Valenti here with the School of Self-Defense in Indianapolis. And today's video is gonna be a big channel update. I'm gonna let you guys know about a really big project that I just finished. I'm gonna let you know about a project that I'm working on and talk to you about what the future of this channel is gonna be looking like going into 2023. So before we get started at all, let me go ahead and address the elephant in the room for people who have been longtime viewers of my channel which is that I'm missing something. I'm missing videos. I've not posted a video in like four or five months. And the reason why I've not posted a video in four or five months is because I've been working on an extremely big project that I'm very excited to kind of do a soft announcement of right now. And that project is Kenpo360. Um, so we have a website now av uh, available for everyone to go to Kempo360.com, which will allow you to train with me online. And I think that's really exciting. So it's an online class, very similar to what you might see at like grapplearts.com or the Gracie University. It's an online training program. Right now, I only have the first level available, which is the initiation phase, which is going to represent several months of training just in that one program. So let's talk about what Kempo 360 is and how it uh, relates to our CDS program that has <laughs> been promoted at this uh, channel, you know, a million times, like every video. So to put it very bluntly, our self-defense system CDS and Kenpo 360 are literally the exact same product. Um, uh, maybe exact same, They maybe not exact same, but <laughs> uh, they are the same thing. Um, just the delivery method is different. So um, CDS is a well-rounded self-defense program that covers stand, clinch, ground, weapons, multi-man scenarios, situational awareness, and conflict de-escalation. And Kempo 360 is that it is exactly that. The difference is that CDS was designed to be taught one-on-one. -on -one whereas Kempo 360 is designed to be taught both one-on-one, -on -one, but also in group classes and hopefully um, online as well. And so what is Kenpo? Well, Kenpo is a self-defense art um, that, I mean, is, is pretty old, to be honest. Uh, nobody really knows when it starts, but we know that it's it's basically comes from Okinawa. But it's this kind of prescriptive self-defense art that that takes this approach of saying, okay, you know, if someone does this to you, you respond with this. So it's almost like following little recipes. So, you know, if someone grabs me with a single lapel grab, then I do X, Y, and Z. And if somebody grabs me with a choke, then I do X, Y, and Z, dot, 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 dot. Um, so I always kind of think about Kempo techniques kind of like following a recipe. So if I were to... Uh, if I don't know anything about cooking, I need to follow a recipe in order to learn how to cook. And after st studying, you know, after, I guess, following, you know, 100, 200 recipes, by the time I've done several of these recipes or like 200 recipes, I'll have a good sense of how to cook by the end of it. And that's very much what Kempo is. It's meant to teach you self-defense through this process. Kempo, for its entire life, has always been solely focused on self-defense uh, throughout its entire existence. Um, most martial arts claim to be for self-defense, but when you go to study them, the teacher is going to teach you a sport. So, for example, if you go to study Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, most BJJ schools are going to teach you the sport of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. If you go to study karate, most karate schools are going to teach you the karate sport, not necessarily um uh, you know, the self-defense system. Um, and then Muay Thai is boxing are obviously sports at their core. And so um, Kempo is very much from its core, a self-defense art. Um, and it has been the primary, I guess, building block, the, the foundation of our self-defense curriculum uh, as long as the school has been open. Um, but the problem with Kempo is that Kempo lacks... Um, really any kind of grappling game and Kempo has a couple uh has has its fair share of of moves that are maybe 
less effective than others. Kenpo, as it was presented to me when I was first learning it, was kind of an encyclopedia of movement. And so as a result, it had all the most effective techniques and some techniques that were less effective. And so in our school, what we've done is uh, uh, that we've basically those less effective techniques, we just don't really teach them anymore. Uh, that we only teach the kind of the cream of the crop in the system, which then leaves room because that leaves that gap in the curriculum. It leaves room for the student to then study the grappling arts and learn how to do throws, takedowns, pins, and submissions. Now, I'm both a fifth degree black belt in Kenpo and a second degree black belt in Judo. And I can tell you with complete confidence that if somebody studies the entirety of the Kempo 360 program, um, that they will uh, have a black belt in Kenpo, but also have the knowledge of a black belt in Judo as far as takedowns, pins, and submissions are concerned. And so that's the 360 of it, is that it's Kenpo, but it doesn't just cover the standing phase, it also covers clinch and ground as well. And so you end up as a well-rounded fighter. Um, so as far as what's available online on the website, Kenpo360.com, um, right now I have the very first belt available to purchase, which represents several months of training. Uh, so it's not like, it's not gonna be a quick process. Um, so what I have on, on there is the first belt that we call the initiation phase. And the initiation phase, in Kenpo itself, it, it has like about 300 techniques. And the initiation phase is the 18 most important techniques for survival. Like how to defend a punch, how to defend basic chokes and grabs, how to, and then, uh, and then because of our program has a ground fighting, it also has kind of a, a whole suite of techniques for um, top mount and getting out of top mount. So very much, you know, they're, you're either you're on top of them or they're on top of you. How do you deal with it? And if you're on top of them, how do you maintain it and what tools are available to you from that position? And so, so Kempo 360's initiation phase is really, like I said, the essentials kit for self-defense. And it is supposed to be just step one, which is why it's called the initiation phase. Assuming Kempo 360, the online program does well, I'm gonna continuously roll out more and more belts for people to uh, continuously train uh, the system. But right now, um, online, we have it available so that you can take the entire program and then you can also do online testing with me. And the online testing is the same way that I test people at um, at my school, which is that you are performing the techniques and then I have you do several drills um, and then I either will pass you or I will fail you and offer you critiques on how to you know, better improve uh, for next time. So that is like the big announcement. Kempo 360 coming at you. So what is the next project? Well, because I've been putting together this Kempo 360 online program, I have a lot of resources to put together a book. And so the next big project that I'm working on um, is a book. So the Kempo 360 online program is available right now at Kempo360.com. But the book is something that's going to be coming out later this year, I hope. Um, I have no idea how long it takes to write a book, but I've been working on it. <laughs> I've been working on it. And... Um, yeah, it's coming along and it's looking pretty badass. It's the kind of book that I, I would have wanted uh, when I was first learning martial arts. And so the, the book is also going to be the initiation phase, which will serve as a great supplement for the online program. Uh, and it also will be just be great for my students uh, here in Indianapolis that when they sign up for the program, they if they want to, they'll be able to purchase a book that will have all the techniques that they're learning in the initiation phase. Uh, finally, last thing is going to be what's, what's going to happen with this channel? Is this channel just going to turn into a giant Kempo 360 pitching machine? Well, I mean, about as much as this channel has been a school of self-defense pitching machine. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot more Kempo 360 talk than I have been in the past. Uh, but, but no, the channel is going to kind of be the same shtick that it has always been me sitting here and, you know, talking at a camera about martial arts ideas, concepts, and, and trying to cover ideas and principles that don't get covered online a lot. Um, uh, but um, I don't want to say that any, I don't want to give any, any kind of like weird, like uh, uh, schedule 
<laughs> for when I'm going to release videos. I always hate it when YouTubers like say like, well, I've never, I've not posted videos in three years, but now I'm going to do it every day. No, I, I'm, I'm going to do regular uploads. That's all I'm going to tell you is that, that, that dry spell of me not releasing videos for five months, uh, that's over because I'm no longer working on this Kempo 360 program. Um, it's done and ready to go. Uh, now I'm going to start releasing more regular videos. So you expect a lot of the same content that you've been getting. So if you've been enjoying the channel up to this point, you're going to enjoy where the channel goes from here. Um, having said that, I'm always, I always need ideas for those videos. And I love interacting with the subscribers of this channel. So if you, um, have a question or you have an idea for a video that you'd like to see me do, I would love to get that in the uh, comment section down below. That helps me out a lot. Also, this video at this point is run about 10 minutes plus, and um, I know that it basically has no edits and you've just been like listening to me talk. And I'm really impressed that you made it this far. So to prove to me that you made it to the end, I want you to include the phrase, um, I usually have to do something with the video, but I'm looking at my dog. So we'll, <laughs> my dog's over there. So we'll say, include the phrase dog in your comment. And I'll know that you made it to the end. So once again, if you want to train with me online now, if you want to do distance learning with me, you can do that at Kenpo360.com. Until next time, everybody, I'm Michael Valenti with the School of Self-Defense. Fight on.